Former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam passes away, national mourning for seven days. Former President and Bharat Ratna APJ Abdul Kalam died on Monday after collapsing during a lecture in Shillong. Kalam, 83, who reached Shillong via Guwahati in the morning, collapsed during a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management Geelong, IIMS, around 6.30 p.m. and rushed to the Bethany Hospital there. Doctors at the hospital said he was brought dead around 7 p.m. He had no pulse when he was admitted to the hospital. We can attribute his death to cardiac arrest, a doctor said. The hospital authorities, however, refrained from confirming the death until Meghalaya Governor V. Shanmuganathan and Chief Secretary PBO Warjari visited the hospital around 8 p.m. The body of the former president will be flown to New Delhi via Guwahati Tuesday morning, Warjari said. IIMS officials said Callum, who had tweeted in the morning about the function, showed no signs of illness after he reached the Meghalaya capital. We had a packed house for the lecture on livable planet Earth, an official said. From Missile Man to People's President. Callum served as president for five years from 2002, enjoying the support of both the ruling BJP and the opposition Congress. Callum was closely involved in the country's civilian space program and military missile development efforts, earning him the sobriquet India's Missile Man. He worked as a scientist and science administrator, mainly at the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, before he became president. He also played a pivotal technical and political role in India's Pakhran II nuclear tests in 1998, shortly after the Atal Bihari Vajpayee government came to power. After his term, he returned to a life of education, writing, and public service. He received several prestigious awards, including the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor. The center has declared a national mourning of seven days. Dr. Callum was a man of impeccable character, indomitable spirit, profound knowledge and firm conviction. His death is an irreparable loss to this nation. He has left a big void hard to fill, said Home Minister Ragnath Singh. A Volpakir Jainulabdeen Abdul Kalam was born on October 15, 1931 in a poor Tamil Muslim family in Ramaswaram. But he overcame all odds to study physics and aerospace engineering.